The Saurian looked up from his computer screen. Hey, did you hear about the new species being admitted to the Council? Grizzler asked his shipmate as he glanced at the headline. There are primate species like yours. Yeah, Elgor responded. Humans, or Terrans, or any one of the dozens of subunits they call their own species. Our people meet them first? They're just... weird. What do you mean? Grizzler asked. Having subunits of your own species wasn't that uncommon, but it wasn't normal either. Like... Their technology is inorganic, Elgore said. Inorganic? Like their tools? Grisnak said, surprised. Every species known to date bioengineered organic machines. Need to control gravity? Bioengineer an organic mass in the guise of an organ that can control gravity. Need a weapon? Grow a mass that can expel spikes, or concentrate bioenergy into a beam. FTL? Clone the FTL organ from any of the space-going animals that can naturally make FTL jumps, and graft it to your ship. Sure, species use inorganic tools from time to time, especially before they learned how to bioengineer self-healing and reproducing tools. But no one made actual machines out of inorganic matter. All that tech is all inorganic. How do they control gravity? Grisnak asked. They make an inorganic machine that creates a gravity field. What about power? How do they generate bioenergy? They don't. They smash atoms together and harvest the energy like it's a star, Elgor responded. They call it electricity. Mal or shit, Grisnet protested. That's impossible. They call them reactors. All their ships and most of their worlds use them. How do they work? I have no idea. Something about using radiation rocks and smashing isotopes together really fast and hard? Elgor replied, dejected. Okay, weapons. Do they at least grow their own ammo? No. They either use something called lasers, particle beams, or just throw rocks really, really fast. They throw rocks fast? Grisnak asked in disbelief. Do they throw the radiation rocks really fast? Only when they've stopped giving off radiation. They said it makes it denser, so it hits harder. What is it with these humans and rocks? I mean, how are they even FTL without some kind of FTL organ? Do they have an FTL rock? They made their own FTL generator. They call them jump drives, Elgor explained. Oh yeah? How do they know where to go with them? Do they bang rocks together at the jump point and see where they end up? No, they trick rocks into thinking for them, and use that to calculate the FTL. Now I know you're pulling my tail. They tricked inorganic rocks into thinking? Yeah, weird, right? They figured out how to melt down sand and crystallize it at an almost atomic level, and somehow their electricity works with it. So it's like a switch, either on or off. And from there, they make these complex-ass machines that can think. It's crazy how fast, too. How long does it take for a navigator to plot a jump? Dunno. If they're good and has a good biointerface and compatibility with the FTL organ, half a cycle, maybe? So a cycle is a bit longer than what the humans call an hour. Their jump drives and computers can calculate a jump in two sixteenths of a cycle. What they call a couple of minutes. We're thinking rocks, Grisnak deadpanned. We're thinking rocks, Elgor said. Do they eat the rocks? Not really. They eat anything else, though. What, like meat? Grisnak asked. And plants. But not rocks. They use some rocks for seasoning. Grisnak threw his claws up as he stood. Give me a break. What is it with these humans and rocks? I don't know. They call their world dirt, though.